Hi, it's Barbara McNeely. I want to tell you the story of how I learned to make ratatouille. It started the summer of the pandemic when we were going to the farm every week to buy our produce. Since the farmer's market had shut down and the grocery stores were crowded. When the eggplant showed up, I wanted to do something different with it. And the idea of ratatouille came into my head, even though I don't think I'd ever had ratatouille at that point in time. But we bought some and I looked up the recipe for ratatouille and decided to make it. That Ratatouille is actually a French dish and it consists primarily of eggplant, zucchini, bell peppers, and tomatoes. And that's more than I knew when I first started. So I made the dish and it came out not like the vegetable stew it was supposed to be, but it came out more like a vegetable soup. A lot of liquid in there and all that flavor was in the vegetable stock, not in the vegetables themselves. I persisted though because I wanted to make the recipe and I wanted to make it right. And so I challenged myself to do exactly that. And I want to talk to you about the three things I learned in that process. The first thing I learned was that it is a vegetable stew and what that really means. So a stew, to stew a vegetable means that it cooks in its own juices. So you don't have a lot of liquid. If you've made a soup before, you know that you add a broth of some sort to it. But a stew is a different critter altogether. So if you think about a vegetable beef stew, beef soup and a beef stew, they may have similar vegetables and ingredients, but they're not the same thing at all. So we were going for the stew part, which meant that there shouldn't have been all that extra liquid in there. So at last I went to Julia Child's book, Mastering the Art of French Cooking, because after all, it was a French dish that I was making. So why didn't I start there? I don't know that answer, but anyway. So I go to her book and she goes to elaborate detail of how she pulls the moisture out of the eggplant and the zucchini by slicing them and salting them and letting that salt pull the liquid off and then drying them. And then you chop them up. And then the tomatoes, now tomatoes are a lot of liquid. So you, tomatoes, you peel them, you seed and you juice them, and then you chop them up. And so you've pulled out an awful lot of liquid from those tomatoes. So I tried it that way. And it turns out it's the white way to do it. Anyway, so that was the first thing I learned, that it was a vegetable stew, and as a stew, it shouldn't have a lot of liquid in it. The second thing I learned, and perhaps you've guessed this from what I just told you, is that it is not a simple dish. It's not going to be a quick dish. As a matter of fact, my best time was about three and a half to four hours. It took me a couple of hours to get all the vegetables ready between the slicing and the salting and the drying and the seeding and all of that and the chopping. But I did it. And then it took another two hours to cook it. The good news was that you can actually prepare all those vegetables in the morning and then make the dish later in the day. So you don't have to be four hours in a row, but it is still going to take a long time. So if you're not happy being in the kitchen, then you might not want to make the dish. The third thing I learned when I was making this dish was I did a lot of internet research, even though I finally went to my own cookbooks. I did do a lot of internet research. And suddenly this little listing came up from IMDB, which is where movies are listed. And I thought, why is a movie thing showing up in Ratatouille? Well, it turns out there's a movie called Ratatouille. And it's about this rat who grew up in France and declined the usual fare that rats eat, which if you don't know, I'm not going to tell you, but he was a connoisseur of good food and he wanted to learn to cook. And he actually even wanted to earn, open his own restaurant. His name was Remy, by the way. And it it is really a delightful movie. Now, the interesting thing was I actually gave a speech in Toastmasters last week 
talking about this, basically what I'm telling you now. And I had asked the question of who had ever eaten ratatouille. And there was two people that raised their hands. And when I said, asked who had cooked it, one of those people kept their hand up. When I asked who had seen the movie, a lot of hands went up. So perhaps you've seen the movie, even if you've never tasted ratatouille. So those are the things that I learned about making ratatouille. And the best thing for me is that it's the end of June, when, as I'm telling you this, and all the vegetables that I need are showing up in my farmer's market. So I'm getting ready to start making ratatouille again. And you know, someone suggested that it's actually also good cold, and I'd never tried that. So I want to make some more just to find out if that's really true. Thanks for watching.